Yes, sir. You already know exactly what time it is, man. We're back here to serve some more game on the ground for them hungry hounds who just got the pound and are ready for the next round. So with that being said, make sure I grab your snacks, your drinks, whatever the case may be. And let me turn this down real quick. And so with that being said, y'all can see the title of this episode, this live, this topic, whatever you want to call it. Stop comparing yourself to other people, other men, other celebrities, other casual people you see at the gym or at your job or just in your city in general. Oh man, I want, I'm want. i going to be like him. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the same thing he's doing. When you do that, you are minimizing your work ethic. The reason why is because you're trying to take on the work ethic that somebody else has. You're trying to take on, uh, you're trying to take on the things that somebody else does that you probably can't even handle. They got to that point in their work ethic over time. It wasn't something they just decided to pick up randomly and just boom, be able to handle it just like that. No, you got to build yourself. You got to build your work ethic up. And it's hard. They go through everything that they go through on a daily basis. And because of the stuff that they go through, they have gained the ability to handle the work ethic that they have. Versus you, you're just starting out. You just started last week, last month, uh, maybe a year ago, six months ago. You ain't nearly as experienced. So when you start trying to compare yourself to other people, you're minimizing yourself and you're putting that other person on a pedestal. What you need to do is compare yourself to how you were before, whether that was yesterday, the day before, last week, last month, last year, so on and so forth. Because let me tell you something, when you steady comparing yourself to other people, you're going to steady to not see any type of results. Not the ones that you want to see. Uh, this is what I'm going to do right here. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to do that right there. You're not going to see the results that you want to see when you're comparing yourself to other people because you're constantly looking at that person. You're constantly looking at that person. And it's a shame. When you should be constantly looking at yourself and comparing yourself to how you were before, that's who you should compare yourself to. When you put other people on a pedestal like that, you stop seeing yourself. And this is what I'm going to do right here. You stop seeing yourself and the progress that you're making from where you were. Oh, what's good, Jess? And you start seeing somebody else with how much progress they're making. You blind yourself to your own journey. And you're just steady worshiping somebody else. Quit comparing yourself to other people. Get that out of here ASAP. And add that word, add that word to the, to the list. Yeah, yeah, no, add that word to the list. Uh, you blind yourself to your own journey. You blind yourself to where you can't even see the destination of where you're trying to go. Because you're too busy looking off to the sides, looking up, instead of looking straight. You're supposed to be looking straight. Not to the side, not behind you, not up, not down, nowhere, but straight. Get that out of here ASAP. And add that add that to the list too, both them words in the same sentence. If you can't see your destination, what's the point of even walking down that journey? Get that out of here ASAP too. Get all of them out ASAP. If you cannot see your destination, what is the point of even walking down that road? There's no point. If you don't know where you're supposed to end, why are you walking down that road in the first place? You have to see in the long run where your road is supposed to end, where it's supposed to lead you to. Yeah, yeah, add all them words to the key list. You already know. Too many people these days will start down that journey, but then they'll give up and quit halfway down, a quarter of the way down. Uh, Get that out of here ASAP too. Too many people will quit. Too many of y'all have already quit in life because it's gotten too hard or you're trying to be like somebody else. You're trying to be where someone else is. You're trying to be in somebody else's position. All this, that, and the third. And that's the wrong thing that you trying to do. Get that out of here ASAP. 
for you to be able to become who you want to be, you have to go down that road. You have to go down that journey. You have to make mistakes and you have to learn from those mistakes. That way, when you come across that road again, you know what choice to make. Get that out of here ASAP. That way you know exactly what choice to make whenever you come across that road again. But if you don't know what decision to make, how are you supposed to get past it? How are you supposed to get past that crossroad? Add that last word that that person said to the key list too, to the, to the list. Too many people envision themselves somewhere that they're not supposed to be. Too many people envision themselves in somebody else's shoes when the truth is you ain't meant to fill those shoes because they've already been filled. You got to fill the shoes that were made to fit you. If you can't do that, you ain't never going to get nowhere in life. If you can't do that, you're just a leaf in the wind. You don't know where you're going to land. You don't know where the winds are going to take you. You don't know what tree you're going to stop under. You're just floating away in the matrix. You're floating away in a dark abyss. No destination. No purpose. No drive. Nowhere that you want to get to. And that is a shameful life to live. Because how can you as a grown adult, man or woman, live knowing that you could be doing better? Knowing that your life has a purpose, you just don't want to chase it. You just don't want to walk down that road. You're too scared, too weak, too tired. All this, that, and the third. How can you be a grown adult and have pride in yourself every time you look in the mirror and you see what you see? That ties into what I was saying earlier about how people ain't comfortable in themselves because they ain't working on themselves. That's 100% facts. A lot of people will envy how somebody else looks. But the reason why that person looks the way they do is because they work on themselves. Your body is like a vehicle. It requires maintenance to stay running. That's 100% facts. If you ain't going to the gym every day, how can you expect to stay in shape? If you ain't running that track all the time, how do you expect to stay in shape? If you ain't eating the right food, how you, how you expect to keep your your PSI down? When I say PSI, I mean like, like how some people are. Some of the things that I see on a daily basis is wild. Absolutely wild. And the thing is, they just don't care. They know how they look and they just don't care. They have no drive. They have no pride in themselves as an adult. And those people are the ones who will always envy how somebody else looks. Get that out of here ASAP. Those people will always envy how somebody else looks, what they have, where they're at, their position in life, the people they have around them. They're degenerate people who hang around other degenerates talking about people who actually have something in life, people who have actually built themselves up. And that conversation always goes around in a circle and it never leads anywhere. You know, you can talk about your problems. You can acknowledge the fact that you have a problem. That's not bad. But when it becomes bad is whenever you acknowledge that you have a problem and you don't work on it. Get that out of here ASAP. It becomes bad when you acknowledge the fact that you have a problem, but you don't do anything to fix it, to correct it, to get back on track. Get that out ASAP. ASAP. And add that to the list, too. So, yeah. Look in the mirror. Figure out what your problem is. Acknowledge that that problem is there. And start writing down the steps that you need to take to fix it. And if you don't want to be a leaf in the wind, well, then you need to start that journey down the road, that hard journey, that long road full of obstacles, potholes, walls, intersections that are going to be tempting to turn off onto. But you can't. That's 100% facts. Get that out of here ASAP. 
you can't turn off onto one of them side roads because they're going to lead you off track. You got to keep going straight. It's the only way to go. And it's going to be hard because somewhere down the road, you're going to lose people, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's some materialistic things that you've to have some type of sentimental value. You're going to lose some of that stuff. And it's going to be a test to see if you really built for it or not. And if you're not, then you're going to fail. That's 100% facts. If you're not, then you're just going to fail. That's just how it goes. So yeah, man, with that being said, quit comparing yourself to other people. Because some other people have a work ethic that you can't handle yet. So quit putting them up on a pedestal. And just do what you're supposed to do. So with that being said, I'm about to go live on YouTube in a little bit. The link is in my bio. Y'all can go tap that subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you can turn on post notifications every time I go live and or upload a video over there. I'll be live over there in a little bit. I'm out. Deuces.